So, Eternal Son Don Lac Garrigue is one of my very favorite compositions of Luke Ferrari. It's from 1977, and uh, it's for uh, an ensemble not a fixed size. It's to be decided upon. It's usually five or more people. And there's a, a tape accompaniment, but tape accompaniment suggests that the tape exists in the background or plays a supporting role. And I think that the tape is very much in the foreground of this. And every time I play it, it's really as if Luke Ferrari himself were present in it. It's really, it, it's, it's a unique work in his, uh, in his catalog of works in that it calls for improvisation within fixed parameters. But the score explains so much about the tape. It explains what all of the pitches are in the tape. It really explains the timing and the structure of the tape. So it's really, it's for instrumentalists to work inside of Luke Ferrari's tape music. So the score really calls for six separate sections that each have a distinct character and yet that there's a single continuity to the work. There's no break between the sections. And it's um, not always clear when you've moved from one section to another. The score is very suggestive uh, and very poetic in this sense of a, an afternoon in La Garrigue yeah, and a kind of like daydream, heat daydream, in as much as it explains the pitches, suggests certain motifs that can be played, um, the score also really relies on prose description, um, which is something that I find very sympathetic about Luke Ferrari's work, is that, he, that there were so many different ways for him to notate uh, his pieces and to create a score. Luke Ferrari has always appealed to me for the way that his work accumulates different techniques and different strategies. So I think that the artists that I'm closest to ultimately are not the ones who work by renunciation, who move to a new phase of their career and, and refuse to, to carry forward what they had done before. So I, I find throughout Luke's uh, career and particularly in the middle and the later work, techniques from every phase of his career. And I, I hear that in Eternally Sound on La Garrigue and particularly in his later uh, archival pieces, uh, Les Archives of Edizo, and, and works like that at the end of his career. So this is intensely appealing to me.
Thank <laughs> you. 